rural and remote Australia. It's where the health of the people is relatively poor and where few health professionals choose to work. National and international studies have demonstrated that health professionals who grow up in rural areas are more likely to practice in rural areas than health professionals raised in the city. However, an often unrecognised consequence of the severe chronic shortage of health professionals in rural and remote Australia is the severe chronic shortage of role models to inspire school students in those areas to go on to become health professionals. So where do these children get a picture of what it might be like to be a health professional? Do they acquire it at school? Career development theorists generally agree the children start to shape ideas about careers before they start school. And they continue to shape these ideas throughout their school years. They also agree that to aspire to a career, a child must first know about that career. So, I analysed all the Department of Education set curriculum materials studied by rural and remote distance education school students in years three through to seven in one Australian state, looking for content relevant to health professional careers. I found these students are provided with very little information to make up for the absence of health professionals in their areas and to help them build a picture of what it might be like to become a health professional. In addition, none of this information was presented in a manner to say, this might be something you might enjoy, or you could do this. You could go on and become a health professional in your community. Furthermore, some of this information painted negative images of health professionals, especially doctors. These findings help us to understand why so few of these children go on to become health professionals. The shortage of health professionals in rural and remote Australia is a multifactorial problem. But if we could work with the Department of Education to change my findings, more of these children might go on to become health professionals in the future and we might be one step closer to improving the shortage of health professionals in rural and remote Australia.